Now what we're going to do is we're going to worry about the, the water that's in the unit for, has been there for the whole season. This can be done in the spring and the fall. What we're going to use, I like to use, is a product that I also carry. It's called CF205. The purpose of it is, is you're going to add this to the water that's been in the unit for the year and it's going to clean the unit as it runs for four to eight hours, no more. You can also, depending on how long it's been, you can add up to three gallons of white vinegar that you buy at your local store. Um, but if you're doing this yearly, I would only recommend this with one gallon of white vinegar. And if you've done it, haven't done it at all in several years, go for the three gallons and two gallons in between. I'm gonna add this now, and I'm gonna let it run for four to eight hours, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to add CF205 to the unit, and you're going to add it at the 2-inch port in the back behind the chimney. Most units have a 2-inch port here. We're just going to pour it in. And then shortly after, uh, we're going to add the gallons of vinegar. In my case, I'm going to add one. Now this is running, my pump is running, it's going through my heat exchangers inside the building, and it will run for 4 to 8 hours. And that's it. After four to eight hours, we're going to drain the system. Everything should be pretty clean. And then we're going to refill and add our ProTech. Okay, we have added the CF205 in the white vinegar. It's been about four to eight hours. It's been somewhere in the ballpark of seven hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain the system. In our case, we have a one loop system here. I'm going to shut the ball valves to prevent me losing the, uh, the water in my loop so I don't have to bleed that again. And I'm gonna open my main drain. And you can see by the color of the water how much the CF205 really cleans the unit. We're gonna add more water, and we're also gonna flush out what's also sitting at the bottom like a like chocolate milk sitting at the bottom. So we're gonna keep flushing. But I'm not gonna do this all right now or I'm gonna sink. Usually I'll walk away from this. Uh, there's, in this case, there's about 120 units in this unit and 20 gallons in this unit, so I'm gonna walk away. Now is the treatment. The unit's been drained, it's empty, we flush it out as best we can. Uh, the way we flush it is we put a garden hose in there, stirred up the muck, spilt it out until it ran clear. Now we know it's as clean as we're going to get it. In this case, there's two products that we use. is A200. This is a nitrate-based product. It is environmentally very friendly. It um, is usually a little bit more expensive than the nitrite based product, which we also sell called ProTec 300. Most of the manufacturers in the business use a nitrite based product. Uh, it's a little bit more aggressive on the scale and rust inhibitor, a little harder on the environment, but it's not that bad also. It's a, it's a sodium based product. In this case, our customer has decided to use a A200 product because this actually treats up to 200 gallons, which is uh, 120 here, so this is no problem. Simply all we're gonna do is open it, Pour it in, let it fill up. We're gonna fill it up with water, reopen those valves that close to the zone. Uh, yes, there's some CF205 still in that zone, but that has no effect. That's gonna be neutralized by the couple hundred gallons. We're gonna replace our cap, which holds the moisture in, and that's what keeps us from uh, evaporating so much water. Now, if you're coming out to find your unit like this, this is sometimes common. What happens is the top of the unit will, the steam will flash freeze to it, and when the heat turns on, it'll give it a little pop, making it bounce off. Now, if you find it over on the side, that means you're probably boiling your unit. You need to check for airflow problems and something else. Thank you for checking us out. If you have any maintenance questions, please write below and give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Let us know what we're doing right or wrong, and we look forward to helping you. This is what we do for a living. We maintain and service all these outdoor wood boilers. We have most of the fans and the parts that possibly can go wrong with them. So don't be afraid to give us a call or check out our website. Thanks and have a great day.